hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel that channel is Steph Chanel's 40s world and again we're here to talk crap talk shit just talk until our tongue fall out or we just get like we can't talk no more okay that's what we do over here so fam come on in come on in the house yes i have unlocked the door y'all come in at your leisure but when we got already got a conversation going on just sit down relax and just partake of your hearing before you want to get in there and make your own comments okay but of course as you can see we're going to be talking about miss nene leaks and of course over there hanging out with her on her youtube channel where she's talking 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 yes this is my segment called catching up with none other than miss anini leaks the so nasty so rude the i'm rich bitch um the queen of the real housewives of Atlanta. Yes, Miss Nene Leaks over there. Big and on her channel. And I'm talking about the episode or the video where she's discussing, um, I think it was January 21, 2020, The Life of Nene, where she talks about the ladies of success. You know, her baby, or I should say, uh, Wendy Williams and her and Tamar were supposed to have gotten this little project off the ground but Nene as usual has taken it and, and gone and made it her own yes honey this ladies of success seems like how she has been discussing it just seemed like a damn cult really I'm just gonna get straight up to it or a mean girls club because she's sitting over there begging Beyonce well she's basically going through Kelly Rowland uh, to me, she got on Kelly Rowland's Instagram site because uh, she was looking for her Ivy Park accessories to come to her door. That big old orange box that Beyonce has been gifting some celebrities out there. And they probably are made for celebrity uh, people that can afford it. Because, hell, one pair of pants probably cost $500. One uh, Adidas sweatsuit Ivy Park may cost 1000 People like me could only just like, mm let me see what the fabric going let me try it on first and it might just feel like some clothes that you would just normally buy for like a normal jumpsuit or sweatsuit from Adidas for probably cost about $85 or something like that and I might be generous it may be $60 who knows uh yeah and it just has Adidas on there okay but since it says Ivy Park and Beyonce had her way of curating the line and putting her input in and bringing it out on fruition and it was going to carry her company's name named after her baby girl blue ivy yes honey you know some dollar signs was going to come out of that and shit all them pieces probably was like out the wazooka then then he gonna fake like she was gonna go on over there and buy something but hell everything has sold out by then and they, they, they ain't all uh, used to buying shit she used to going on playing off her name like she's some old aristocratic person that got all this million and zillions worth of dollars and she feel people need to get her stuff because before she ended the conversation talking about where her box where her orange little what do you call it? A rolling uh, cart or a clothing cart. Where hers is? She ain't get her this and third. She gonna say she tried to uh, Instagram Kelly Rowland. Like just because Kelly Rowland and uh, Beyonce live together for a short period of time because they were in this group called Destiny's Child or whatnot, don't mean she gonna sit there and send you no clothes, Nene. Why you try? Why you so I'm so rich, bitch? I cash uh, Trump checks. Why you didn't, um, what do you call it, hit up Beyonce on her social media platforms and ask her for it since you out here begging, okay? You begging, because that's what you were, dry begging, because even when you concluded your video that I was just partaking of, watching, trying to catch up to see what you're doing, are you acting accordingly, or are you being morally <coughs> competent in living your life or are you just out there fooling shit and, and faking folks up and, and, and wanting them to cater to your needs and your desires and your wants but then when it's time to give back you ain't got shit to give them but your ass okay that's what i'm talking about Ooh, you made me so sick i'm like i can't stomach this but i'm gonna i'm just gonna press on because i know my family like when i come and invite them over to the house and they listen to not commentary or what I feel about a certain subject and then I'll be asking them after I gave my spiel or my take of the experience or exposure what am I trying to um, tell them about 
you know, give you know a second thought because you know sometimes I can't be tunnel vision. I can just be thinking one way, even though I'm a well-rounded individual, and I can see other ways of viewing stuff. But then when I really have ascertained and deduced it down, or deduced it down, and I start putting in logic and and reasoning and the what ifs and whatnots, and you know forming my own hypothesis, shit, I come with that's full of shit. You know what I'm saying? I just go and let have and give my pros and cons to the situation but let me fall all the way back and just tell you how we got on and what she started with i was just trying to bring that up so when you understand what i'm saying when i'm talking about ladies of success you can see the hypocrisy of needy leaks and how she gets down honey and she just want to be around the rich and famous because she ain't rich and famous no she ain't she might got a couple of dollars up in there you know what i'm saying but she ain't talking about like uh trump money okay she ain't talking like old england bloodline type of money she ain't talking about beyonce money because them people just look at her and just uh take nini as a form of entertainment but she can't sit eat or discuss anything at their table they wouldn't take her serious okay i'm just saying but going back to the uh we're gonna say the pros for now then we're gonna deduce it to probably just full full of fuckery and just full of shit okay but nini started talking off about the ladies of success from how I'm getting the perspective, and like I said, you can go over to her YouTube channel, Nene Leaks, and I have her um, little information. I'm giving her some publicity over here, even though my platform is small, but I have nothing but optim- uh, op- what call it? optimistic ideas and feelings that my channel is going to grow, and I'm going to hit that $10,000 mark, and I'm still going to not look at Nene of uh, becoming anything that I will support unless she's changed her demeanor. So I got time over here. You see where I'm at with my subscriber list. So I'm, I'm, I'm gaining. I'm gaining. And, you know, it might take me a little longer. I'm, I'm going to keep pressing on, but when I do hit that 10 or more, I'm not going to look at Nene to support anything she's doing because she ain't trying to help the underdog right now. Because once again, she was an underdog. She hadn't, hadn't just woke up one morning and said, uh, answer her doorbell. And somebody said, come on and be on our show. And let me make you a star. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. She had to know somebody to know somebody to thought that how she carried herself in her normal day, everyday life, people may find that very interesting and would be able to get a lot of laughs off her, meaning she's cooning for the set. All right. But anyway, she goes on to talk about ladies of success and how this uh, club or organization is only meant for ladies who got it going on. And they ain't talking about just, just love themselves. They have very high self-esteem about themselves. No, honey. She talking about uh, Fortune 500 women. Okay, you could be how, I'm, how I am looking at it. Ain't just for Black American women. It's any uh, woman out there. Any uh, what do you call it? Culture, ethnicity, any race doesn't matter. Just as long as you got uh, four, five hundred mentality monies in the bank and you hang with like the elite in a sense or the real rollers business shakers out there in atlanta or it could be any uh the uh 50 52 states 50 some people say 50 states some people say 52 like myself um might be a mandela effect going on but i remember 52 and i was learning in school but it just is what it is we ain't gonna go there uh, but she's talking about she can't help nobody because a lot of people had got in her DMs and whatnot was saying they very interested about it. They're starting their business. And, they, you know, cause I feel like this. Everything starts from a beginning. And what you do to nurture it and build upon it and make it grow like a tree that, you know, that grew from nice fertile soil to a seed. I mean, I had a seed planted in a fertile soil and it grew up to be something beautiful, like a beautiful tree or beautiful flower. You know, it had a beginning and it had help okay but then you like you know i can't help you unless you become very very lucrative and successful then you can join our club because that's what it's all about women who've made it and i'm like why ain't that the pot calling the kettle black nene do you not understand from your humble beginnings which you came and no people or the organization similar to the one you got started or what had a part in starting uh do you think they would have looked at you if you weren't a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. See, that's why I said some of these people on this show take this platform for granted. They pretty much act like they already had it going on. They already had all this uh, wealth that was, you know, 
grandfather, you know, they were born into. And they feel everybody's supposed to submit down to them and look up to them while they continue to look down on the people that's trying to get theirs. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to ride off anybody's coattail, but trying to show what they have to offer and that the playing field be fair enough for people to access this wealth. <coughs> Sorry, y'all had to clear my throat. Y'all had, I had to clear my throat. Y'all had to clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. Okay, that's what I had to do. So we had that brief inter intermittence, uh, intermittence that we had to go take care of that uh, phlegm that was in my throat. Okay. <sighs> now, where was I? Oh, y'all, just an impeding process is what I was uh, going to about how Nene just told some of her fans, followers, viewers, or lovers of her that she can't help them. When they get to a certain point, um, they can uh, definitely come over. I guess they'll take the application because it's an application fee, which is and it's a joining fee that she had expressed. So it's two kind. No, she said it was an application. No, it was a joining fee and a monthly fee. So it doesn't sound like some kind of code or some kind of uh organization like you was in uh, college and y'all had to pay those uh sorority and frat uh expenses even after you graduate you know i'm going on with your life and whatnot they still want you to pay i'm like girl can i claim it on my income tax can i claim it on my income tax or better yet will it look like would it look nice in front of the lord when it's on judgment day and he calling me and presenting all these things on my book of what i did uh good and what i did bad is it gonna help me nene that i signed up for your organization i had to pay dues girl dues at the wazooka and then you sitting up here and talking about y'all planning trips to london and china and china got that uh from wuhan got all that coronavirus going around what are you talking about you need to be sitting yourself down and not trying to travel to other countries okay sit yourself down here in atlanta and think yourself Think some things through because you didn't have the platform that you are on that you have definitely been taken for granted. Those people would throw you out the organization that you helped start it because you're not going to have the funds. All these monthly fees that you are endorsing, all these uh, joining fees that you are endorsing and trying to get the people that have already been more established than you uh, before you even got a part of the platform you see what i'm saying and we definitely talking about wendy williams okay wendy williams already been had money okay long 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 time of money already done solidified herself out there with the elite so they know about her they know about her but i guess she training you to be in that circle this circle you keep talking about of influencing uh monetary type people so yeah i thought that was just piss poor uh judgment on your part and how you try to make other people feel like they aren't up to your standards yet they have to get evaluated they have to get investigated and then of course they got to have the money uh to be a part of such an elite or esteemed group you you're hanging with at this point okay and i guess they have to learn how to keep secrets as well and what kind of shit of an organization is that i'm just saying but yes honey that's all the thing nene was talking about was uh saying these women that's in the ladies of success they are you know like-minded people they travel together they eat together they just love on each other they all uh, level up together they become business partners together you know just playing a whole little violin and you know everybody just getting mesmerized and uh trained and they getting hypnotized oh yes you need to be a part of this group like they're in some sunken place i said so you want a bunch of zombies you want to pe you want people that just say yes 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 and don't question anything that you're doing in the organization that's what you're talking about nene i'll pass i'll pass all day every day because i'm not trying to conform i'm trying to transform on this society of an earth plane existence we're living on baby okay uh, and then she goes, I mean, the whole thing just, she just sounds like it, it's a snobby type, uh, snooty type of organizations, organizations that used to keep black people out. You know what I'm saying? Them kind of organizations. Oh, child, 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 Nene, I, I, I don't know what to say for you. I mean, I, I, I had that 
much of a little bit of respect for you. But how you going out here trying to dog people out because they don't have enough money or they don't have the type of money for you to be around. I mean, I've definitely seen and heard how you get down in them streets here in Atlanta. But Lord have mercy. But then you want to turn around and say, uh, you want people to support you. But you don't want to support nobody. You don't want to get your, those followers that were trying to ascertain some information from you about the organization. You were like, well, no. Uh, if you don't have this, this, that, and the third, you can't join. It's just not for everybody. It's only for the, uh, how I'm viewing it, for rich people. Okay? For people of very huge, um, um, what you call it backgrounds and family ties and stuff it's just not for every walk of life every jill or john okay you got to be the joneses you know how they said they always trying to keep up with the joneses nene said she is the joneses but i'm like girl please like i said if you didn't have this platform and people didn't like you for all your antics that you played girl please and then they're trying to get rid of you so i hope you got other revenue streams and i hope them ladies are going to continue to watch your back while your back is going down, your ratings, you know, they're trying to already oust you out at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I mean, you definitely was here when it started. This, that, and the third. You definitely played your part. And I still kind of like you a little bit. But not how you've been acting, Nene. Not how you've been acting on your, your own YouTube platform. And then some of the shit you say uh, on the show. But then you want pe people to sit and film with you. Okay? I'm like, is Cynthia... A part of this lady of success, Candy, Eva, Portia, uh, Marlo, Tanya, or any of these people in the ladies of success group? Or have you blackballed them because you don't want them to reap some of the benefits that these other elites can bring to fruition? Uh, that they can probably take part in and, um, what do you call it, um gravitate and grow with uh, you trying to keep those business opportunities away from your fellow co-mate co co oh co-workers constituents colleagues i'm just trying to figure it all out Nene, because it seemed like a total bunch of bullshit to me and then you were talking about you needed influencers you needed youtube creators to come and use our public platforms to support your cause but you don't want to support anybody who has uh, you only want to support 10,000 or more subs on a person's channel. You don't want to look at the ones that got 8,000, 7,000, 5,000, or such as myself, 3,000. You know what I'm saying? We get a lot of hits. We may not have a lot of definitely uh, subscribers coming on board as of yet. You know, not the ones that we really want to have those type of numbers. But some people, a large amount of people do look at our videos. You need to take a look at some videos that hit over 50,000 views okay so we may not have the numbers but we have people that gravitate to what we're saying they always tuning in do you understand what I'm saying Nene Whoo! somebody give me some water so I can pour on myself because I feel like I'm hot right now I'm hot Woo! Nene had got on my nerves I'm like ooh Mm -mm -mm. but see I don't really like to go on people platforms and put all a lot of you know bad writings you know in their comment section i'm very respectful that way that's why i just have my own platform and then i can talk as much shit as i want to and nobody can't do anything about it because it's my perspective okay and i'm being as nice as i possibly can but when you see a spade acting a spade you got to call out a spade all right because i just thought that was just uh downright mean or nini to say that some people were reaching out because they just started their business or they're getting into the formation of starting a business and they just want some advice not you know because some people want you to pay for their experience or whatnot and i get it but i'm like if you're trying to give back to co to the community and you want to see everybody you know uh be entrepreneurs then somebody helped you so why don't you help somebody you know what i'm saying and then the riff just keeps on growing 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 to everybody's entrepreneurs out there they don't have to work for anybody but that's not that's but we, we're in that crab bucket mentality when we're talking about you nene that, that's where you have some of your people they got to do they got to worship you they got to fall on their knees and, and, and pay homage to you before you even throw them a bone so you know 
I, I tell those people, honey, go do your own thing. Don't wait on Nene to put you on. Put your own self on. And if you keep grinding, you keep working, it's going to be people. It's going to be people bigger than Nene and better places than where Nene could probably ever go to or get to. Because look at her. She begging for um, Beyonce's clothing uh, wear, her athletic leisure type wear. She didn't send Nene no box because she, she know of Nene, but she don't know Nene like that. And Nene don't rock in the circles that she flaws in, okay? Or she would have been on... Um, Beyonce's list to get, receive one of them gift boxes, but no, and then he was just big and big, just dry big, and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, but you're supposed to be a part of ladies of success, you're supposed to already been there, had that, done that, done even been sitting at a table with the elite, okay? But just throw Beyonce out there, yeah, you can't even sit at Beyonce's table. She's like, oh, yeah. Real Housewives, yeah, I, I don't have time to watch it that much, but okay, I know, I know who you are, okay, baby, and she's just probably throwing you on out the way, nice, nasty, okay, but anyway, um, let me see, did I miss anything? Oh, she just really talks about, excuse me, uh, what the latest of success do, they travel together, they eat together, they shop together, they have luncheons and galas, and they support each other's events, um, pretty much that's it, and then she was talking about she wanted to, uh, she's looking for a manufacturer to produce good fabrics, you know, over the top fabrics, and she's asking people who, I guess, view her channel to uh, email her or uh, send her some information on some good uh, manufacturers to go and get their um, fabrics from or whatnot. And I'm like, damn, Nitty, you own three swag boutiques, and um, yeah, you don't know nobody by now. That you could call upon. Hell, you should be able to go up to Italy or, or France, you know, or hell, New York for Fashion Week and be hooked up with those designers. I'm sure they could tell you, yes, where to go, how to go, and what it's going to cost. So you're kind of looking stupid. You know, you're telling all these other people around here, they supposed to know this. they supposed to get to where they are on your level to where you can introduce them to stuff. Well, you don't even know shit. I'm like, you have three clothing boutique stores. You don't know nobody. Girl, please. In the fabric world. In the clothing world, Nene. Okay, so what you just buy from the Asian community and these sweatshops or whatever and whatever looks good, you just go put it in. Girl, let me stop, honey. Because you really sounded really stupid when you made that comment uh, about looking for fabrics. And you wanted like-minded people on your team and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, girl, get the hell out of here with that bullshit. But anyway, uh, she was talking about uh, hanging out at some kind of underground type of eatery restaurant. As well as it transitioning into like a bar scene as well as a club scene type of thing. But she was pretty much saying if you're our age group. You know, in your 50s or whatnot, you don't look like a lot of big crowd, a lot of people hanging around. Go visit them from between the hours of 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. And, you know, you should have a good time. And she was saying how the people were very nice and sending drinks to their table and food and all that. Yeah, because you like free stuff. You playing off your name. You think every time you go somewhere, you know, to a hotel to you know a, a club scene or a, a eatery joint they supposed to give you free food i'm like nene really you the rich you're a rich bitch remember you're supposed to pay and then just let make it rain on everybody get send everybody shots in the place you know what i'm saying you want everybody to know your name like this is cheers oh god y'all remember cheers that little show where they used to go to this bar and everybody know your name and stuff like that the repeaters you know? okay but i just thought i'd Throw that in there in this commentary. And, uh, but yeah, she wanted her social media influencers to hit her up. You know, s send her an email of the channel so she could check out your channel. See how many followers you have or subbies. And then maybe y'all can do business or whatnot. And, you know, for color main wigs, uh, I guess they give you some stuff. Hell, she even said she'll give you clothes from her store free. You ain't got to pay for anything. You just got to make sure you're modeling them well on your channel and you're pushing for sales and stuff like that. 
I'm like, nigga, nigga, get the hell out of here. Okay, get out of here. You should be out there for anybody who got it, got a uh, YouTube channel and want to partner with you and, and, and let their talent speak for themselves or how much people would uh gravitate to coming and buying from you from that youtuber but now nah, you said they got to have ten thousand or more i'm like girl okay all right whatever and then she started uh talking about her comedy show she said my comedy show where i'm gonna be my show i'm like nene you the freaking host okay they can replace you with the drop of a hat or a blink of an eye they don't really need you okay but since you like to talk you were there they needed somebody because you're talking about sherry shepherd kim whitley uh i was probably some more i forgot who she was talking about but they they have a hitters uh in the comedy scene and they're women and they're comedians but you know you're not a comedian nene you don't make us laugh I mean, if you're making us laugh it's something stupid you done did you know what i'm saying but just come out and give me a ha ha joke on the scene like stand-up comedy no baby just continue to do your hosting gigs and, and that'll be fine all right because lunel had already tried to get you together but you know you, you didn't understand that you had to like come on and be verbally cussing her out on the youtube all right to express your opinions on how lunel felt that you were entering in a circle that you weren't prepared for but she was telling you the truth nene everybody can't get up there and make people laugh on a drop of a dime because you don't have but, but nothing but seconds to make them laugh and if not they burn your ass off the stage okay but it just is what it is you go on and continue what you do and we'll go on and continue to watch you because you're entertainment for us all right uh where we can get it we get it oh but i think oh and then she said something about <coughs> she had just uh got this certain space that she wanted to turn into like a little movie set where she had different compartments of where she could have different things being filmed like if she wanted a she wanted to find somebody a set designer uh that uh, can construct a living arrangement like if you were sitting in the middle of your living room and you were having conversations like if you want to have a talk show and you would just you know have that living room feel and have people on the couch or you know a chair or whatever and you're interviewing them or she want to have another structure scene where it was um dedicated to like a bar se a scene we just had the bar and you had like maybe three stools or whatnot and that would be a setting scene then she had another one that she wanted to do uh taping in her closet uh she was gonna make up like a little prop type closet where she can go in and you know whatever I'm like girl you're just doing too much and it's gonna cost some money do you got the money nene because it comes with a nice price tag of what you're trying to do but like I said, I think Nene just looking at everybody and she just trying to find other ways that she can make some money. Because she knows her time is pretty much winding down on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because they're getting rid of some more uh, Caucasian women off another Real Housewives of Atlanta platform. I don't know if it's Beverly Hills, New York, or Orange County. Hell, it's one of them. But I think her name is Vicki Gunderson. They're getting rid of her for some reason. I don't know if she made some kind of mistake with her mouth or she uh upset somebody higher up or i don't know child i i really don't get into it i'm just atlanta based here and i only review certain things so but yeah she tripped me out when she gonna flip the script asking beyonce or kelly Rowland, where's her ivory park collection of clothes <laughs> I'm like, Nene, it's because you haven't arrived yet, baby. You think you have arrived. You're trying to block other people from clamming over you, okay? Because you just that type of person is what you're growing into. Because you didn't, to me, you didn't even really start out this way. But your head done got so swollen, it can't even fit on your neck no more, okay? It has gotten that huge to where you don't even look at people as people no more. You look at people as servants for you, okay? But that's all I had, y'all. That's all I had. So I'm waiting for my family to get down in them comments and cuss me out and say, that thing, a death Chanel. Girl, what are you talking about? I don't see Nene this way. You know, just take off a Nene or whatever. Then, you know, I know my son family going to come in like, nah, that thing spoke the truth. Damn, 
she spoke the truth, okay? Nene is acting fraudulent out there. And then, you know, I got some family members that's going to cuss me out regardless. And we're going to love on each other. We're going to just love and learn to agree to disagree. And then we'll come back in the house another day and be talking shit again. You know, this is what we do over here. That's what we do. We give our opinions, our perspectives, and we leave it at the door, okay? We leave it right there on the floor. They walk up, get up, go home, do whatever they got to do. You they don't know if they going home, but they gonna be done left my house after we don't finish commentary. See what I'm saying? And you know, they come back when they hit a notification bell and we go all into it again about talking about another topic. They agree with me, they disagree with me, we fight verbally, you know, and then we like, Oh shit, we ain't gonna agree on this today. We're gonna keep you know, table this, we're going to pick it up another day. And that's how we roll over here at the fam, at the family of Fair House, okay? So, y'all get down in them comments if you dare to, if you care to. Tell me what y'all thought about Nene doing all this extraordinary type of negative shit. Or did y'all agree with her? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you know how I feel, so now I want to know how my family feel. And definitely continue to con continue to subscribe to my channel, uh, like my videos, and share my videos, guys. That's the only way we're going to grow over here. It's our channel. It ain't my channel, really, until I have to pull a rank on y'all. But usually, it's our channel, because like I said, it's a family affair. Let's grow together. Let's be at peace with one another. And let's dialogue often, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.